Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Pomahawk. And the topic today is bodybuilding programs for seniors. Seniors, you got to hit the weights. The reason being is after the age of 30, we start reducing the amount of muscle mass we have, the amount of growth hormone we have. So two things I constantly see in my patients is low back injuries because we have no strength there and no leg muscle strength. So two things I focus on with my seniors is increasing your low back strength through exercise and increasing your leg exercises through exercises. So you got to focus on strength training to improve your ability as we get older so that we can move better, focus better, and function better and not have to worry about low back problems. A common issue I see as a doctor in my office with senior citizens is a lack of mobility, a lack of flexibility, a lack of strength in their overall body and also a lack of muscle structure. So I tell my patients that are older is to work on mobility, strength, flexibility, and cardiovascular. So I'll be teaching you guys how to do a proper squat. The key focus on doing a proper squat is making sure your body awareness, finding your body neutral, finding your pelvic neutral, making sure you're pushing through your body, pushing through your heels, so you put all the pressure on your legs. I'll also be teaching you how to do a proper lunge. The reason you want to do a lunge is because you're actually simulating a motion of walking. And as you get older, if we don't use it, we lose it. We also want to incorporate these exercises in a high intensity interval session because it stimulates fast switch muscle fibers, stimulates growth hormone levels, and stimulates your body's ability to incorporate and develop muscle as we get older. So do a proper squat, you first got to find pelvic neutral, then you got to make sure you're pushing through your heels and putting all the pressure in your legs. Same thing with doing a lunge, you want to find your pelvic neutral, your body neutral, and also making sure that your step isn't too big or too short and doing a common procedure being safe and effective and reducing the amount of potential injury.